Okay, so here's the tutorial for a move that I call turn the page and close the book. If you can't already tell, the name is mostly from this closing action. It's like closing a book. And I guess this single card can be considered turning a page, although you obviously don't turn a page like that. That'd be more of like ripping a page out. But I feel like ripping a page out, well, I guess that could be something else. But I do like the name turn the page and close the book better. To get started, you're going to want to hold the deck in middle grip with your middle ring finger near the corner and your thumb on the bottom short edge like so. Then your index finger is going to break off about half the deck as you would for a normal swing cut. And as you break off, you're going to take your middle and ring finger of your non-dominant hand and contact the front of the cards and you want to push off a single card from that side to your uh, dominant side so it's just pushing like that and you're gonna push and as you push you're gonna put pretty much this bottom packet up against this part of your thumb like so so it's going to move and then contact like so. But you're going to keep pushing from there until this single card can reach to the top of what was the bottom packet. So you're just turning your dominant wrist face up and you keep pushing with that single card like kind of like this motion until it reaches the top like so. Now you don't want to line these cards up. You want to keep that grip with your middle and ring finger on that single card. But from here, you're going to put your non-dominant thumb next to your middle finger on this top packet. And then you can let go of that packet with your middle and ring finger of your dominant hand. So now it's just being held by your two thumbs like this. So right now your index finger is kind of touching the palm of your non-dominant hand. You want to rotate your wrist counterclockwise. So like your index finger goes this way around until you can reach to where the packets are kind of lined up like so. So without the other cards, it's just like this. And the other packet is rotating around your thumb. So rotate that. And as you are doing that rotation, you're going to take the single card with your middle and ring finger on that grip. You're going to keep pushing the card out as much as you can. So your fingers are going to kind of extend as far as they can reach. So you should be about in this position with the single card out here. And then these two packets are kind of lined up. But then from here, you're going to re-grip with your thumb up here. So currently, it's kind of over this corner the thumb grip is. You want to release with your thumb and then rotate your hand to where the pad of your thumb is now pointing towards you. So before, it was pointing this way away from you. And then you want to move it to where it points towards you. So now it's just kind of in this grip. And then from here, you're going to keep pushing with the single card onto the back of your dominant hand like this. And so you should be in this position. And then your middle finger is going to come up next to your index finger of your dominant hand. Then your index finger is going to go on the back of this packet. So they kind of switched places. And then from here, you're going to push with your index finger to slide this packet down the back of the bottom packet to where it can contact your non-dominant thumb down here on the short edge. So it was here against your dominant thumb, and you're going to push it where it reaches your non-dominant thumb. 
And then from here, you're going to use your middle finger and index finger to bring that packet down a little bit to where you can place this single card on top and line up with that packet. Now from here, you should be sandwiching your index finger between those two packets. So you're going to uh, pinch the bottom packet, or for me, this four spades packet, with your index finger and thumb. You're going to pinch it and pull it out. And then you're going to re-grip this remaining packet into um, just a dealer's grip or a straddle grip. So it's kind of in this position and you just move your fingers to where it gets into the grip. So pull it out and re-grip. And as you're pulling this one out, it's going to fall onto your thumb kind of flat and you're in this position. And then your other three fingers come onto this long edge. And your index finger is up here. And that way you can now pinch the packet between your thumb and these three fingers to lay the packet and close it onto the rest of the deck like that. So pinch, let it lay onto your thumb, grab on the long edges with these three fingers, Regrip this into a straddle grip and close this. And you can also use your index finger to help push those packets together to help get that closing sound. So right here, and then you close it. So one more time, but from this side, middle grip, break off half, middle ring finger, push off single card towards your dominant side, rotate your dominant wrist towards face up, and keep pushing the card until it reaches the top packet, or what was the bottom packet, but because you turned your wrist face up, it's not the top packet. Uh, thumb comes next to your dominant middle finger right here and grips that packet so you can let go dominant hand rotates counterclockwise until it can get into this position while your middle and ring finger extend that single card out re-grip with your thumb to where it is facing towards you and keep pushing that single card Middle finger comes next to your index finger. Index finger then can move back to the packet and push that packet from your dominant thumb to your non-dominant thumb. Bring this packet down to line up that single card with it. Pull out this uh, queen of spades packet using your index finger and thumb to pull it out and then let it fall onto your thumb so that you can regrip with your middle and ring finger onto that packet, like so. Regrip this face packet into a straddle grip, line up the packets, and close them together. Okay, so that was the tutorial for turn the page and close the book. And this video is actually dedicated to my card club, where I teach people cardistry and sometimes magic. And show them videos of those as well and i started this club at my school and i taught them this move and a lot of them seemed to like it but then some of them asked me where where can i learn this outside of car club i'm just like um you can't because there's not a tutorial for it so here's the tutorial now okay guys so hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial for turn the page and close the book which is a kind of original move of mine even though it's as usual not particularly new but I like it and so did the members of my card club so let me just grab up on my card club real quick because I like to talk about it so basically I started a card club at my school for my senior year which means I only got to 
be the dictator of it for a year. But basically, we met once or twice a week for an hour, and I would teach members cardistry moves, sometimes magic. I taught them like a variety of moves, not really in order, as in I didn't really teach them the basics first. Like I did teach them some basics, but I didn't go basic and then increase in difficulty. I just kind of taught them whatever I thought they would be able to do, and apparently they can't do one hand cascade in five seconds. So that was my bad. Um, <laughs> but I taught them a lot of one-handed cuts, aerials, some spreads, a few two-handed cuts, but those were definitely harder for them. But yeah, just a lot of moves and a lot of practice. And showed them a lot of videos where we like featured cards like Aslan Valentine, Oliver Sogar, Tobias, you know, Franco, and show them decks that are popular or not so popular or controversial. And we also have a video called Daniel and Colin, so that way the members could talk to another cardist that wasn't just me. And so yeah, that was a lot of fun. Also got a mess of decks here because I need to reorganize the deck display. And some of these decks are going to members of the card club and they're from uh, Daniel Huckins. So shout out to him. Thank you for meeting with us over call um it was really cool to meet you and talk to you so and thank you for the cards of course so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed uh thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time